Okay, next question. Let me pull this back once again here. How much questions? How much marks it is? 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. Okay, it's for 8, mar eight marks. Or 8 minutes I have taken. Let us see whether I'll be able to finish in 7 minutes. Okay, so this is about thermal energy transfer. A hot piece of iron is placed into a container of cold water and uh, after a long time, the iron and water will reach thermal equilibrium specific heat capacity of containers negligible. Define specific heat capacity. What is specific heat capacity? So write it down. This is what two marks over here. You need to write amount of energy required to raise the temperature of a substance substance by 1 Kelvin per unit mass of the substance is specific heat capacity. My handwriting is not so good because I am reading faster. So, please make a note of it, but otherwise you can also listen to it and you can write it. Okay. This is what it is. Now, this will count, account for one mark. Then, second mark, you need for two, right? You can also mention units of specific heat capacity is joules per kg Kelvin, or you can also say C is equal to Q by M delta T, where delta T is different change in temperature. Change in temperature. Uh, here I made a mistake, amount of energy required to not raise, you can say to vary, to vary or alter because when you say raise, it means you are only heating, right? When you say decrease, say you already have a substance which is at a given temperature and you want to decrease it, okay? Then also you can consider this specific heat, okay? So in both the cases it is used, so you can only say vary or alter, right? Next one, the following data are available, mass of water, mass of iron, everything is given determine the specific heat capacity of iron. So, how do you solve this problem? This problem is solved using method of mixes. Method of mixes. What do you mean by that? It tells you a very simple principle which is nothing but uh, conservation of energy which tells you that the energy is neither loss nor energy gain. Now, what is it? What is it? What, what is the experiment about? The experiment is about you took an iron block which is at a temperature of 180 degrees centigrade initially. And then you dropped it into a bowl of water. So, this uh, there is some volume of water over here or mass of water over here. So, as a result of it, when it was dropped, what happens to the water and what happens to the iron? The temperature of iron will reduce. Okay. So, finally, you see temperature of iron, we do not know. Is it given here? It is not given. The final temperature of water. Okay. Initially, temperature of water was seen to be at 20 degrees centigrade. When you drop this, uh, then what happens? Uh? So, the water gets heated up and iron loses its heat. Right. And as a result of it, the temperature of water plus iron, final temperature of water means, okay, both the temperature of water and iron are at the same temperature, which is at 44 degrees centigrade. So, what has happened in this process? That means, iron has lost heat energy. Can we say this? Definitely, right? Okay, because it is useful to increase the temperature of water. And what has happened to water? Water has gained the heat energy, right? This is what we can say has gained heat energy. Now, what do we do next? Next, what we need to do is, what is the energy lost by iron? Okay, let us do that also. Energy lost by iron is equal to M iron C iron delta T, delta T of the iron. Okay, so which should now be, what is mass of iron, which is already known? What is mass of iron? 0 0.58 kg. So, I will write it here, 0 0.58 kg. Specific heat of iron is given. No, that's what we need to find. Ci delta T. What was he? What is delta T? Change in temperature of the iron. See, what is the initial temperature? 180. What is final temperature of iron? 44. But says water over here. But water and iron, they already reached a thermal equilibrium. So, therefore, it is at the same temperature. So, 180 minus 44. Hey, where is my calculator, man? Ah, I should do this. So, 180 minus 44 is 136. So, this should be 136 over here. Similarly, energy gained by water, by water is equal to, how much is it? It should be M water, C water, delta T, right? Now, this delta T that we have here and this delta T is not one and the same. Okay, now let us do, look at that. 
what is the mass of water mass of water is 0.35 kg 0.35 kg multiplied by cw 4200 multiplied by delta t change in temperature see initial temperature was 20 then temperature of water raised to 44 the difference is 44 minus 20 which is 24 over here okay now what did i say the method of mixtures principle tells you that you can equate this with this one here right so now let me equate this so which will get it as 0 0.58 ci iron into 136 is equal to 0 0.35 into 4200 multiplied by 24 so i'll get the value of ci which should be 0 0.35 into 4 double 4 to double 0 into 24 divided by 0 0.58 multiplied by 136 okay now let us calculate this values so what i will do is so let me take this a little bit here now let me try it out 0 0.35 multiplied by 4200 multiplied by 24 i get the answer is 35280 i'll write it here 35280 divided by what do i have here in denominator 0 0.58 star 136 is 78.88 78.88 so now take the ratio of these two which should be now what i will do is i'll take 352.80 divided by 78.88 so i get the answer as what is the answer i'm getting i'm getting it as 447.26 right 447.26 or this is 447 what is this now ci specific heat joules per kg kelvin now what is being asked nothing asked they only ask you find out the specific heat capacity of iron not to prove anything so this is the answer for it now let us go to the next one explain why the value calculator in b1 is likely to be different from the accepted value why do you think that this is not the exact value it could be something else the reason is the first one what is that okay we assumed no energy is lost okay energy may be lost what are all the consequences energy may be lost due to in the surroundings in the surroundings because it was just an open experiment right then the second one energy can be lost energy can be lost due to evaporation of water did we consider that we never considered that right and then what else can we say you can say um, see the container container could have absorbed energy could have absorbed energy but we never consider this why because it was already given here somewhere where is it it was given here the heat capacity of the container is negligible you assumed it right so therefore so it is never like that but definitely any container will have the capacity to raise its temperature right so definitely so that is one thing which you are missing so three points we already given so as a consequence of it what could have happened the temperature that we assumed may not be correct okay the final temperature would have been lesser would have been less or low and as a result of this as a result of it what you could have seen you could have seen that ci would have been higher but you are getting a lower value of CI. Okay. All these points should be very clearly mentioned. Okay. So with this, we come to an end to this series. Thank you.